Martin unbeatable at the centre bounce. Taps away again. Can't find a rover this time. Oh, well done, Ops. Puts it out to Genza Brown. Port Adelaide into attack. Draganza Barters up, takes his five, puts it on its way, gives it a chance. What a great goal! Simon Draganza boots his first, Port fight back, fight back, trail 5 3 to 9 9 on nine's wide world of sports. North should be a lot further in front. They wasted a lot of opportunities in that second quarter. Redden. Oh, on the flyers, Russell Boyd on the left leg, here's a chance, puts it up for Marnie, 30 metres out, chips away, Port have got number two on the board, in the second half, third kick, second goal. Boyd, back to Foster, the handball out wide, finds Marnie, he has three, he kicks around his body, front position, Trenorden, great courage, Riley picks up the crumbs, out to Simmons, the pass is short, oh, Marnie tripped, play on the call, Jarman in there, the Port supporters aren't happy. I thought he was legged. Now the ball is out with Stephen Wright. He needs support. The ball back to Johnston. There's a blue one in the forward pocket. I think it's Marnie and Andrew Jarman. Nevertheless, it's Russell Boyd with the football. Oh, fearless approach. And he's been rewarded. And there should be 15 metres. And there is. Yeah, the 15 metres was totally undisciplined. Uh, unlucky Port Adelaide player diving forward did get uh, collected around the head region. This game holding up, you can feel Port Adelaide. This is going to be their comeback, Kim, and uh, we know they always come back, and it looks like this game's really lifted. We've got Marnie and Andrew Jarman carrying on behind play, and, uh, you know, it is a great game of footy. I tell you what, there's one thing you can say about Russell Boyd. You could never question his commitment. He is absolutely fearless. This would be more than handy. We've had 10 minutes of the third term. He lines up 20 metres out. He put it through the middle. 45 points opposed to 63. The Pies are fighting back. Port Adelaide crowd are certainly on their feet now. They can sense this is a revival. Wayne Marnie has been getting some very important touches in the forward line. Uh, Russell Boyd since being on this quarter. And there's a big fight on behind play. Marnie's just been hit and gone down and uh, they're all into it and uh, I don't think any umpire saw that uh, little contest between Stephen Riley and uh, Wayne Marnie. All the umpires have come running from everywhere. It'll be interesting to see what happens out of all this. Already we believe that Roger Carlaw has had his number taken by two umpires after an incident in the first quarter. Now we see what's going to happen here. Umpire Michael Abbott right in there. I haven't seen any numbers taken. He's speaking to Stephen Riley. He's also spoken to Wayne Marnie. Well, they were the two fellows in the actual brawl. We saw umpire, uh, the goal umpire come in as well. And there is still a lot of bad blood there between these two players. Umpire Hilton, I don't know whether he's trying to find his number or what's happening. John Riley coming in, in to just to separate these two players. It's all happening here on Father's Day, I can tell you. A great game of football, plenty of antagonism out there. And, well, looking at the scoreboard, North 9-9 to Port Adelaide 7-3. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, we're all going to get the uh, game underway once more. Michael Abbott and Jack Hilton stand the oh, on again behind play. Riley and Marty, and they're into it. I tell you what, oh, look at brother John. I tell you what, they're not karate chops out there. They're fair being punches. Have a look at that. Well, Mount Michael Abbott will never get the bounce this football. Oh. Oh, and Marnie, that one's hurt him. Now, incredible. Kimbo, I'm not quite sure how badly hurt he is, but uh, one, one thing these players have got to remember, this is a serious game, but the finals are on in a few weeks. Can you do that when you haven't bounced the ball? I don't know. He's going to give a free kick to Wayne Marnie. Obviously, he can yeah. because he's done it. The umpire can give a free kick no matter when. He can give it after the siren sounds. Even when he's called time off. I suppose he can, but he hasn't rebounded the football. And Marnie won't be able to take the kick, I can tell you, although he's up on his feet. He is a tough cookie. As I've said so often, he'd rather a fight than a feed, but I think he's getting more feeds than he needs this afternoon. Stephen Riley is obviously the, uh, the player that's been pinged for it. And uh, Marnie is still in the hands of trainers. You can see he's not a well chick at the moment. 
And it's Hodges with the kick for goal. I was just about to mention the man with the football is normally pretty accurate. And uh, I think North Adelaide are playing into the hands of Port Adelaide. They'll pay the penalty for this because the harder it gets, the more Port like it. And he banged it through. Gee, talk about rubbing some salt into the wound. Hodges has kicked his second goal and the Port Adelaide fans here have erupted. Yeah, it's really uh, undisciplined stuff by uh, North Adelaide defence and uh, just cannot afford to give sides e easy goals like that. Peter, and, uh, you are assuming that the North Adelaide defence started it. Oh, I'm not assuming they started it, but uh, they've got to be above that sort of thing, Ian. You've got to be able to cop it sweet. And, you know, South well, Port Adelaide they did love start it. it. They did start well, it. That's why, why the say... free kick was given. Yeah, but hang on just a second. I don't think that's being fair, Kim, because you're saying that Marnie wasn't involved in it at all. And I don't believe that. Well, the umpire obviously saw it in or he wouldn't have made the decision. Well, I agree with that, but I don't see how an umpire can make the decision when he's bouncing the ball at centre and a fight goes on 55 metres away. No way. Well, there's two umpires there. That's why the decision was made. They're Nevertheless. Both 55 metres away. Andrew Jarman with the football. And the free kick will go the way of North Adelaide. We've had 14 minutes of the third term. It's pretty hot out there. It's getting that way up here as well.